I just really like having a good time with my friends. Speaking. Hi. Hey, speaking. How was your night last night? I transformed into a dog and had sex. Cool. We're going to have a little flat meeting in the kitchen in about 15 minutes, okay? Okay. Okay. Shall I close this? Yes. Is Peter coming? Shall we be great? Peter's 8,000 years old. We're not going to have Peter at the meeting. Okay, so I wanted to have a quick chat about flat responsibilities because, uh, guys, I think that we're not all pulling our weight here. We're not just pointing the finger at you, Deacon. You're a cool guy, but you're not pulling your weight in the flat. Oh, I'm glad to hear that I'm cool. No, that's not the point, though. Yeah, no, it's it's no. not a no. flat meeting about how cool you are. I do my flat chores. No, you don't. No, you yes, don't. I do. That's why we're having the flat meeting. The point is, Deacon, that you have not done the dishes for five years. Vladislav is right. It's unacceptable to have so many bloody dishes all over this bench like this. I'm so embarrassed when people come over here. Well, what does it matter? You bring them over, you kill them! Mm. Vampires don't do dishes. Deacon's like the rebellious young vampire. He's always doing crazy things, saying crazy things. He's just like the young bad boy of the group. Okay, so one day I was selling my wares and I walked past this old creepy castle and I look at it and think, very old and creepy. And then this creature flies at me it dragged me back to this dark dungeon and bit into my neck. And just at the point of death, this creature forced me to suck its foul blood. And then it opened its wings like this and hovered above me, screeching, Ah! <laughs> now you are vampire. And it was Peter. And we're still friends today. Vlad, you were great. You put out the recycling, which was really cool. And the other day, I dragged the man's body down the hallway and noticed that there was no dust. Like, I kind of, I kind of swept the hallway. Vladislav is just like this older about things. We should get some slaves. Yes. When I first became a vampire, you nags and nags. I went in the lounge the other day and there was blood all over my nice antique couch. Which one? The red one? Well, it's red now, yeah. If you're going to eat a victim on my nice green couch, put down some newspaper on the floor and some towels. It's not hard to do. We're vampires. We don't put down towels. Some vampires do. Well, not serious ones. When you get the four vampires in a flat, Obviously, there's going to be a lot of tension. There's tension in any, any flatting situation. It settles in. We'll all do our jobs, starting with a certain deacon. Oh. I will do my dishes! Good to do that! This is bullshit. Hard to live long. You're dead. You're dead. You're dead and out of this world. I was a Nazi vampire. Und mit meiner geheimen Wehrmacht von Vampiren erobern wir euch diese Welt. After the war, which the Nazis lost, I don't know if you know that the Nazis lost that war. If you were a Nazi after the war, and if you were a vampire, and if you were a Nazi vampire, no way. I was out of there. Long gone, long gone, long gone. When you smile and it tears your face, it's time for the inhuman race. You're down, you're down and out of this world.
Really good, yeah. I like one it. of the unfortunate things about not having it. We're looking great. Yeah, some of our clothes are yeah. from victims. Do with no. these. Change it. When you're a vampire, you become very sexy. We are trying to attract victims to us. Not sure about the waistcoat. I go for a look at the bait, but we are also the trap. <laughs> Voila, we are ready to go into town and party. Vampire, Vampire style. Vampire style. When we go into town, we must try to blend in. Just walking the streets, coming into town, um, it's really cool because just for one brief moment, I feel... I The trouble with being a vampire is you have to be invited in to go in. I'd like to come in to the bar, please. Invite us into the bar, please. You can walk in. But will you could invite you just, us in? Could you just... If the humans found out that we were, they would destroy us. There are between 60 and 70 vampires in the greater Wellington region. Obvious vampire. Yoli. Hello. There you go. Just being bitten as a little boy or a little girl, you're always going to look the same age. What are you doing tonight? You're going to kill some perverts? Yeah, we're meeting a pedophile. Cool. Yeah. OK, let's just go for it, Kumara. Have a good night, guys. Yeah, you have a good too. night. Big Kumara is vampire-owned and operated, and so we can always get in. It's the hottest night spot for vampires in Wellington. Thank you. Thank you. Perhaps you could bring some people to the house. Sure. Perhaps some virgins. Virgins, yep. Okay. Any kind of preference in terms of gender or. Maybe some ladies. Yep, ladies. Perhaps a guy. One of each. One of each would be cool. My relationship with Deacon is... Any kind of age range? Young. But not, not kids? Not kids. Okay. 18 to 30? Definitely younger than yourself. Okay, so 18 to 30. So it's a dinner right. party? I'll be there? Yes, You'll be dinner there. party. The guys will be there? Yes, we'll all be we there. will dress up. Okay, great. And then eat them. Okay. Should be fun. Great. I was just wondering if we could talk about the... Do um... you know of a night dentist? Because I have this thing here. I was just wondering if we can talk about the the, the deal. Hmm? The deal? The dishes? No, no, the you know the deal. The deal mm. is older before kinda mm. I just feel like I'm the best version of myself that I can be. It's yeah, just that it's been four and a half years and I just I just but it's doing your yeah. doing your pot plants and doing your dry cleaning, I'm now doing it your oh, dishes okay. and I'm doing and you know, the dentist. I'm just wondering, and the dentist, the dentist and it's just taking an awful long time, so I was just wondering be if I can gone. Okay. I'll see you later. Okay. He would kill anybody, men, women, children, burning everything. It's totally great. Ah, Jackie, welcome. Hello. Come in. This is Nick, ex ex boyfriend, and Josephine. Myself. And this is Deacon, my overseas friend from Europe. Deacon and his friends need victims. Hi. Yeah. Please come in. Welcome. I will go and prepare dinner. Please. Nick, are you a virgin at all? Mm, what? Doesn't seem like... Are you a virgin? Oh, yes. Um, no. You were a virgin when we were seeing each other? Yeah, I was 12. You said he was a virgin. I think we drink virgin blood because it sounds cool. To think then. Are you a virgin? <clears throat> I'm not, no. Virgin. She looks like a virgin. She talks like a virgin, I mean. Who would have sex with her? I wouldn't. I would. Oh. Okay. Oh, two dinners. Yum. Nick, do you like biscotti? Uh, yep, usually like it. But be better if it was warm. So this is my favorite trick. 
we present our guest with a plate of boschetti. And then I will say, why don't you eat some boschetti? Please, Nick, eat some boschetti. I didn't realize you enjoyed eating worms, Nick. No, no. They are worms. <laughs> There's worms wiggling around in my plate. It's worm-like, but it's not actually worms. We stole that idea from the Lost Boys, but I put a nice twist on it. Nick, how did it feel to have a snake for a penis? <laughs> Jackie, my penis has disappeared. There's a cobra stuck. No one's going to mistake your penis for a cobra, <laughs> Nick, okay? Believe what you, you got me. Got you no, it is just a thing. normal penis. I'm out. I'm out. Josephine, you like Boschetti? Where am I? I got him. Poor guy. Who let Peter out? What are you doing, Nick? Come into the house. Nick, why don't you use the front door? Well, what am I I'm flying? The neighbors can see you flying around the house. You want to draw attention to this house, hmm? You've got a whole documentary crew following you around. I'm doing an erotic dance for my friends, and you ruined it. I was in the zone. My friends are loving it. I, love it. I saw the end of it. It looked great. I don't, I don't know if I'm Thanks. being... At the start, I was like, oh, no, like, I'm, I'm, I'm dead. It's kind of affected my French, but of the way I see it, I've got a whole new family. And they accept me for who I am, and I accept them for... Where shall we go tonight? Let's go to the big cumula. Why don't we go to Boogie Wonderland? We never give in to Boogie Wonderland. No, shit about... my friend Richie's a bouncer. He can get us in. What? Really? Oh. He'll invite us in. Stu's keen. Stu loves it. Cool, that's two. Uh, he just thinks that I'm just... Met some colourful friends. This is Jasmine. I, I brought him round to the house and they all thought I'd bought like a meal for everyone. I just like. For Boogie Wonderland or the Big Kumara? Big Kumara! What, what, all right, it's great. Careful, Stu, hurry up. I don't think Nick should have been turned into a vampire. He's such a dick. Woman, you are moving. Ah. Also, did you see the jacket he wore? He's wearing the same jacket as me. It's not exactly the same, it's pretty close. On Wednesdays they do like a fair factor competition. You can win like t-shirts and um, hats oh, yeah. and spot prizes. I can smell like, werewolves. Like... Look out guys, don't catch fleas. What's that mate? Deca. Sorry, what? Keep going, keep walking, what? keep we walking. We heard that mate, we've got sensitive hearing. Have you? Yeah. In the trouble. Well, I why do. Did you... Why did you start? Have I got your heckles up? Huh? Why hey. don't you go smell your own crotches, huh? Oh, come on, what are you talking about? Outfits. We don't smell our own crotches, we smell each other's crotches and it's a form of greeting. You're on camera, yeah. mate. Don't, don't do what? it. What? It's okay, because I know this guy. It's Count Fagula. <laughs> <laughs> hey, 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 don't swear. Sorry, they... they yeah. We're very, werewolves. Not swear What are we? Werewolves, werewolves not swear wolves. Wolves. Oh, it's, no, it's, it's a very to offensive Anton. word it's to call people. Well, well unless you're talking about a bundle of sticks. Taste this bundle of sticks. Werewolves? No, Don't no, no, get no, it. No, it's not real. It's Nathan, just... it's not real. Right. Thanks a lot, guys. Enjoy. <laughs> Come on, guys. Hey, say it. Don't spray it, bitch. Was well, they actually werewolves? Yeah. Stu is great. We really like him. At first, I wanted to kill him, but now I'm glad I spent the time to get to know him 
we've all got an agreement that we're not going to eat stew, right? Right. I am knitting a scarf for stew. Trying to take it. I'm controlling this. Get it, get it. It's quite amazing to see how far technology can go forward if you're not paying attention. One message received. There is a crucifix behind you. <laughs> so lost a really nice silk scarf in about 1912. <laughs> yes, now Google and it. Stu is the first human friend that I've had for a long time. Yeah. Can we see a movie of a sunrise? What shit. Oh, nice. If we push images, then we can see pictures of virgins. Yeah, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. Whoops. No, go back. Go I don't back. think she's a virgin if she's doing that. <laughs> Cameras following me around. They could have chosen anyone. How many people have? Yeah, got a bit of an eye condition. What's wrong with them? Uh, vampire eyes can't go into the sun. I float, I can transform into stuff. Same. No, you can't. Yeah. No, I'll show you. You show me, show me some of your vampire stuff. So what have I got? Um... <laughs> Don't lie about transforming into shit. Twilight! Shut up, Nick! You're not Twilight. What's your problem? You, you are my problem. Telling the world that we are vampires. And I'm gonna tell the whole world that you're an asshole now. Shut up! You shut up, guys! You shut up! No, you shut up! No, you shut up! Shut up! Dracula, man! You're not Dracula! I'm Dracula, you man! You don't even know who Dracula is! What you idiot! Different. Oh, Ooh, best vibes! <laughs> Oh, ho, ho. Ah. Ah. Oh, Deacon. That wasn't fair, man. Fucking jacket, man. I don't care about your stupid jacket. Deacon! See the camera? Jackie! Jackie, can I come in, please? Okay, off the bed, guys. Hello, children. Don't look at the hey, man. Hey, little children. Hey, Kasha, don't look at the man. I was going to bite you tonight. Really? But now I can't because there's this Nick being a vampire. So, sorry, I thought you killed him two months ago, didn't no, you? No, I didn't. No, he's a vampire. What do you mean? He jumped in front of your place. I may have to penalize you. Perhaps another couple of years, perhaps ten years, hmm? Like one big... Also, clean the bathroom, please. There's blood everywhere, it is gruesome. Okay. <clears throat> See you tomorrow. What? Peter! 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 Accident. So this is what I think happened. The vampire hunter has broken through the window here, has impacted the table, breaking the table leg. Then he has come this way towards the tomb. Whoa! Cover the crucifix! And then 
Peter has burst from the tomb, pushed the tomb lid onto the vampire hunter, and then the sunlight has come through here and burnt Peter alive. I think this yeah. is just a table leg which is sanded down. Do you think he hand sanded that? Yes. Or? Imagine that stuck leg. in your. Tear out your tongue Thank and you. shove it down your ass! Guys! Ah! 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 I'm gonna kill you! with your big mouth! It was a mistake! Get up! Take a breath! Get up and stand on this ceiling like a man! We can talk about this, okay? We can talk about this! I'm gonna kill you! I'm already dead! Do stay back! Guys, Hello. how are you? Hello. Hi, fellas. Hello. Um, is this the uh, room we've heard all this? It's me. Yeah, okay. We've had a couple of reports, okay? There's a couple of people not that happy about the level of noise here. Okay, you can okay. keep screaming when there's this many people out, mate. You've got neighbours on either side. I really hope that those guys don't. Smoke alarm inside. No smoke detectors, mate. Rule number one smoke detectors. Okay. Rule number two. Sort of okay. loud, fellas. Barbecue smells rich. Um, that's a friend. He's drunk. That's what I thought. Drunk Sweet. guy. Look, you hear like that, okay? This guy's not having a good time. He's gonna feel terrible tomorrow morning. Well, his okay. soul is in hell, so don't Well, I don't know it. where his soul is, but I'll check on him in the morning. Big slab of concrete on him. Yeah. Yeah, what this? is that? This. Oh, this. You can see it as clearly as I can. Adhesive, mate. That's a flammable. Oh, yeah. Then you've got a lamp on top of that. Directly underneath the power source. Oh. That is quite bad. It's very guys. bad. It's a very bad combination. And no smoke detectors again, are they? No. no. Yes, there are. Yes, yes there are. I okay, them. there yeah. are. That's good. Lots to think about, guys. Yeah, lots to think about. Next slide, Carry on. Yeah. Yeah good, yes. yeah, good thinking. That's the thing. Just okay. have a bit of dialogue about it. Okay. They've yes, got sir. a really good point. Wait, let's kill them. No. Well, let's just see what other safety points they have and then maybe we'll kill them. I call into session this trial of Nick of Wellington. Read the charges. Problems we have with Nick. Number one, you brought a human into our house, which is a big no-no in the vampire Stu's, world. Stu's okay, though. Yeah, so Stu's fine, so I we'll, guess we'll just cross that one out. Uh, Thank you, Stu. Thank you, Stu. So, the new number one. Nick's been telling people he's a vampire that in turn resulted in an unwanted visit from a vampire hunter. Crime number two. This is quite a biggie, Nick. The vampire hunter who killed Peter. That's a, that actually should have, that should have been crime number one, but we wanted to build up to that. Number three. Deacon doesn't like that you wear the same jackets as him, and he would like you to find your own original style. For these crimes of which we, the Vampire Council, find you guilty, you should be banished from our flat indefinitely. 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 So I can come back? No, one no. Day. Indefinitely means there is no end. I thought there was no, no, indefinite means that it's not a definite thing. It can Does be it changed. Yes, but it's long. Could be tomorrow, it could be six months. No, no it is not tomorrow. tomorrow. Forget, tomorrow. Forget about it. At least banished. six months. You are banished. That's it. But Stu, you, you can visit if you like. Thank you. For your crimes, you will be made to suffer a procession of shame. I asked them, Nick, I asked them not to pass that sentence. We should do this immediately, in my opinion. You didn't ask. You didn't ask, you were saying yes. I did, right. Well, this I, is what's going to I happen. I still think it's quite extreme. Let us do the procession of shame now. Shame. 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 Bad shame. vampire. Shame. You go, Stu? That 
was a shame. So today we have the invitation <laughs> to the big event of the year. Breaking it open. They have burned the edges. Like a treasure map or something. It's very authentic, okay. doesn't it? Dearly departed. That's us. The Wellington Vampire Association, in conjunction with the Lower Hutt Vampire Witch Club and the Karori Zombie Society, invites you to attend the Unholy Masquerade on the night of the 6th of June, starting at 6 p.m. 666. Oh, yeah. Unholy Masquerade, of course, is a great time. Dance together. It's always a big deal for me went to the Unholy Masquerade dressed as Whoopi Goldberg because she was a nun. <laughs> Vampires don't like nuns. The location? Oh, we're, oh yeah, where is it? The, For the location? The cathedral of despair. And the guests of honor will be... Who is it? Show me. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, that's fine. Okay. That's fine. Uh, Vladislav has just had a reaction to the information that the guest of honor will be um, the beast. We could tell you a thing or two about the beast. He may have told you some stories about his great battle with the beast. Yeah, oh, I fought the beast on a cliff. Oh, I fought the beast in a swamp. Mm. Oh, and then one time I fought the beast in the toilets of a nightclub. Difficult battle. You can't go to the baller's blade. He's a vampire hunter. Yeah, but vampires love Wesley Snipes, so it's No, all... it's inappropriate. Okay, Vlad, the green jodhpurs or the black leather with the dragon belt? This Having a mild pants you crisis want to wear. Which pants do you want Just to look wear? at the look pants, at the pants Vlad. Vlad. Turn look around at the and pants. look at just pants! Shit, Holy man. shit! Oh, you look terrible. The black pants. Thank you. Get dressed. I don't know if I feel up to it, really. You don't look that great, but if you eat someone on the way I'm and fine. rejuvenate just, a little bit... You could probably wear a mask or something. Just leave me to do my dark bidding on the internet. What are you bidding on? I'm bidding on the table. Are you coming or not? Not. I'm going to go change. We're leaving in 10 minutes. Have a good time. <laughs> So we are at the Unholy Masquerade. It's great. This is my mask, which I made for the occasion. Ah. Hey! <laughs> Jackie! <Yeah. laughs> this is an undead party. Yeah, I'm a vampire. You'll have your... I'm a vampire. I'm now. a vampire. <laughs> great. Yeah, yeah. So, um, who bit you? Oh, Nick. Oh, great. Yeah. Right. But pretty rude, because she was my... Servant. She was a pretty useless servant. I wouldn't bother you. Yes, without but it. still, I would have been appreciated if you had asked. How's Stu? Stu's good. Reserves. Oh, he's here. Stu! Stu! Oh. Hey, hey. How are you? Hey! Hey! Oh. Hey! 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 You demon? No, he's not a demon. He's not vampire, so he, what, he's zombie or... My own witch? Do you mind if Stu is killed? Uh, I don't feel that good about it. If anyone's gonna eat him, it's gonna be us, but we're not, we, we, we're past that. They can just go fuck themselves. Nick, it okay. is your fault, okay? You brought a human into this den of vampirishness. So what a plus one. Helping. Yes, you did. Plus one. Love as soon as one vampire takes a bite, it's a frenzy. Oh, frenzy. We've got to get him out. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Follow me. Follow me. Excuse me. Sorry, guys. Put that over okay. your bloody red vampire. face. Just go outside for a cigarette. Oh, hey. Okay, um, not that way. Not this that way. way. <laughs> this way. Is there another way? Oh, shit. Not this way. Back away from the vampire, guys. Excuse me, everyone. Please. Some of the vampires forget unholy masquerade rules. They brought the human, and they don't let us to feast 
on him. He could be texting his mates saying, I've got them all in the one place. Come on over, we'll have a vampire barbecue. Well, he's not. He's not doing that. He's wearing a bow tie. Look at him. Stu, Stu, Stu. Hi, my name's Stu. Louder, louder. Uh, hi, my name is Stu. Um, I work in IT. I can't hear. Louder. Stu, they can't hear you. They cannot hear you. Hi, my name's Stu. Uh, I'm a software analyst. I work for a geographic information systems company. Uh, Sorry, what is it? I work for a company that does... Um, basically, we take like business requirements from organizations and we um, analyze those requirements and then we build software to fit those requirements. He is a virgin. He is a virgin. I can smell a virgin at a thousand paces. Go on then. Go a thousand paces their way and smell yourself. Wait a minute. Just one moment. Yeah. No. No, I've got, got it. Let's go. It takes away from. You know the one who fucked that week? All right, that's old business. That's personal business. Yeah. This is a private secret society, exactly. mate. You don't go bringing your bloody cameras into everything. They're whoever yeah, the hell they are. Yes, We're going to eat the human being, and there's nothing you can do about it. Nothing I can do about it. That's right. Mate. Okay. Well, what go, about this? <laughs> that was a murderer. Great. How we both, we both together equally destroyed that guy. Yeah. 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 But it was you. more stew with a giant stick. Uh, oh. This doesn't make it awkward for you and the beast. No, I think it's opened up new possibilities. Oh, no. Here we go again. Here we go again. Wait, 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 stop, stop, listen, listen. Do you smell that? This way. Werewolves. Oh, no. Look what the cat did again, oh. huh? Piss off. Keep walking. Don't oh, hassle us tonight. Guys, where's your tracksuit pants? It was, um... What? Everyone, get back to your trees, That's okay? disgusting, man. Get the camera out of my butt! Let's go, let's go! I got one! You for the world! Get away, Nick! Don't look at the blood! No, Stu! Stu! Leave us Oh, he's a really good dude. Leave him alone. It's too late for him. Don't look at the blood, Nick. No. There he is. He's probably still a little upset having seen his best friend disemboweled by werewolves. Nick. I found you. Whoa. Pretty full on, hey? But this is what happens when you're a vampire. You have to watch everyone die. Your mother and father, all your friends, sometimes brutal, like slipping and falling onto a giant spike or falling asleep in an autumn pile of leaves and having some of them block your windpipe or making the simple mistake of fashioning a mask out of crackers and being attacked by ducks, geese, swans, or simply dying of old age. But even old age is brutal. Watching your friends grow old they can't piss, and they say stupid things, and their brains go, and they can't remember anything. And then one day they can't even remember who you are. And you wish they were dead. And then they do die. You know, if I know Stu, this was probably the way he wanted to go disemboweled by werewolves. Blood and guts splayed onto the trees, his face torn to shreds. I hope I made you feel better. They say that vampires' hearts are cold and dead. Definitely dead. Bye, Stu. He would have loved this, Gav. 
It's a lovely loose knit. Deacon. Deacon. Deacon, wakey, wakey. Hey. Hey, Hugo. Oh, sleep in here. The curtain's open. It's nearly morning. Oh. You want to get sizzled to a Chris? What? You know, you've got to think a little bit about these things. Okay. Sorry, Viago. It's okay. Night-night. Night night. Okay. Deacon? Stu! How's it? <laughs> Good to see you. Look at his face. I saw them tear you to shreds. Look, he looks uh, like Seal. Uh, they didn't kill me. It looks cool. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Meet some of our friends. You. Anton. Jordan. Deacon. Hi, Anton. Anton. I must have everyone turned me into a werewolf. Did you knit your own jersey? Yes. Oh, yeah. I knit. Uh, Is that the moon or? Yes. Hopefully we won't, you know. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is a nice place. Please don't, uh, don't lick anything or pee on anything. <laughs> we were worried at first, but uh, they're actually really polite and pretty clean. But I thought, well, we'll give it. I'm the alpha male. Yes. So, generally, all the other guys follow me. Just you. Just you. Thanks, guys. You will not remember the last hour and a half of what you have just seen. You will forget the contents of this movie. <laughs>